In this video, we're going to look at creating packages. Now, we've already looked at importing packages inside of Java. What if we wanted to create our own package? And what is a package? Well, a package is a collection of classes, kind of like an API you might think of. And in it, you can think of it as like a folder holding all these class files that someone can use. Now, that someone can be you, or it could be someone else. It might be someone within your own company or team, or it might be that you provide this external package that other people can then go in and use. We've seen how to import a package using the import command, and we've defined it like such. Well, you can also define your class or set of classes to be in a package. Usually this is going to be in a project, and then you're going to package all these up into one jar, which would be sent out. A jar is just a compressed folder. It's a collection of classes in the same package that can then be used. To do this, we're going to go up to the top. And we'll specify package and then our package name. So that's all you have to do to create a package. It, it can be something like this where you have a qualified name or you can do something simply like this where it's just a small, simple package. This is usually going to associate with some sort of project name you might have created in your Java editor and it has a lot of purposes. Now you might think, why would I bother to do that? Well, I'll give you a perfect example. A few years ago, I was building several games in Java, and there were certain things that needed to be reused over and over again. So I built a package that, for these games, had a lot of commonly used tools. So the games I was building were mostly things like dice games and card games. So I built a game package that had things like a card class and a dice class and a uh, scorekeeping class and ways to write information to a, a database that we use to keep track of this online. Almost all the tools that were used across these projects got put into these set of classes that I could import my own package and reuse my data over and over again. That saved me a lot of time instead of having to build it over and over again. And if I found that there was a mistake, I could simply correct it in the one package that was importing already, and then I could go about my process and have my games automatically be updated. So this is how and why you would build something like a package and how you would use it in your own projects.